We are at Armenstrom, a young Swiss watch brand known for their skeletonized or openwork movements. The movements from Armenstrom comprise an interesting juxtaposition. Modern skeletonizing and traditional decoration and finishing coexist in one and the same movement. I've always looked at the Armenstrom watches as watchmaking lesson on the wrist. And due to their open work nature, you can see exactly how it works. In 2016, the Beale-based watch brand introduced a watch that is nothing short of spectacular. Moreover, this new watch upped the game of watchmaking lesson on the wrist. It showcases one of the ultimate challenges in chronometry. Today we're going to have a close look at one of the most innovative watches of the last decade. Meet the Armstrong Resonance. But what is resonance? Well, in watchmaking it's a well-known phenomenon. It was first panned down by Christian Huygens in 1655. When he was sick in bed, he noticed that two of his recently invented pendulum clocks were moving in sympathy. If the synchronization was disturbed by some sort of interference, it sort of re-established itself after a little while because of their connection through a big wooden beam. This phenomenon, the resonance phenomenon, can also be observed with two metronomes with a physical connection. In this video, the metronomes represent the pendulum of uh, Christian Huygens' clock. The base of the metronomes can be compared to the wooden beam. Check how they get synchronized. In 2016, Armenstrom presented one of the most spectacular applications of this phenomenon, the Armenstrom resonance. The crucial factor behind the synchronization of Huygens' pendulum was their coupling, hung from the same wooden bar and subject to its vibrations. I will be talking with Claude Kreisler about how Armenstrom applied the resonance into their wristwatches. The idea of our resonance concept is that we have two balance wheels which are connected via uh, steel spring. It took us more than three years to develop this uh, technology. We actually worked together, close together with the CSCM, the Swiss Center of Electronic and Microtechnology, which helped us to understand more about the resonance and uh, to even improve in new materials. Last year, Armand Strom presented an evolution of this concept in a beast of a watch. It features two time zones and was first presented in a titanium case and now it comes fully transparent in a sapphire case. The dual time is based on the form-shaped movement. We have two double barrels, we have two gear trains, two escapements and two balance wheels. On the time indication we have uh, two separate time zones, each of them has an additional 24-hour indication to also use it as a GMT function. The synchronization of the two movements is made via the resonance clutch spring. So we are linking the two balance wheels together to guarantee that both movements are synchronized. On the back side, when you wind up the watch, you can see moving all four barrels at the same time. And we have two power reserve indications with the cone system. We have chosen Sapphire because we wanted to have as much visibility on the movement as you can have. The dual time resonance was born out of a vision. A vision where the company wanted to show our skills. The Dual time resonance has more, way more than 200 parts, which are highly engineered, they were difficult to produce, and they are decorated on a very, very high level. Therefore, we were looking to, that you can even wear the watch without having a case. And therefore, sapphire is the perfect material. So we had to learn how to develop a sapphire case. We did some research and development in-house and we approached a local sapphire producer to make us the case out of sapphire blocks. Milling and polishing a case out of sapphire means the company spends hours and hours in producing this case because sapphire is a very hard material 
and can only be cut out with diamond special diamond tools. The end result is stunning because you can wear the movement without a case. You have a, you can enjoy the movement from all over.